The proposal on the table is a substantial $2,600 monthly increase in payments for those receiving Supplemental Security Income, SSI, Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, Veterans Affairs, VA, Benefits, and Seniors on Traditional Social Security Retirement Benefits. This groundbreaking initiative, if implemented, would represent the largest increase in Social Security payouts in the program's near 90-year history. It's a plan that has sent shockwaves through the political landscape, sparking intense debates on its feasibility, affordability, and potential impact on the lives of everyday Americans. At the heart of this proposal lies a fundamental recognition of the financial struggles faced by countless individuals and families relying on Social Security as their primary source of income. For years, advocates have raised concerns about the inadequacy of current benefit levels, which have failed to keep pace with the ever-rising cost of living leaving many recipients grappling with difficult choices between paying for food, housing, or vital medical expenses. The Biden administration's bold move aims to address this long-standing issue head-on, promising a lifeline for those who have dedicated their lives to the workforce or served the nation, only to find themselves in precarious financial situations during their golden years or periods of disability. The potential impact a lifeline for millions the implications of this $2,600 monthly increase are staggering and could profoundly alter the lives of millions of Americans overnight. For recipients of Supplemental Security Income, SSI, a program designed to provide financial assistance to individuals with limited income and resources who are blind, disabled, or age 65 and older, the proposed boost would more than triple their current maximum monthly benefit of $914 for an individual or $1,371 for a couple. Similarly, for those relying on Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, which provides benefits to individuals with disabilities who have worked and paid Social Security taxes, the increase could mean a substantial improvement in their quality of life. The average SSDI payment currently stands at around $1,358 per month, an amount that often falls short of covering basic living expenses, especially for those with additional medical costs associated with their disabilities. The proposal also promises relief for the nation's veterans, many of whom rely on VA benefits to make ends meet. By increasing these payments by $2,000 per month, the administration aims to acknowledge and support those who have served their country ensuring they can live with dignity and financial security after their years of service. Perhaps most significantly, the plan targets seniors receiving traditional Social Security retirement benefits, a demographic that has long struggled with the rising costs of healthcare, housing, and other essential expenses. With the average monthly Social Security retirement benefit currently hovering around $1,555, the proposed $2,600 increase could be a game-changer allowing retirees to maintain a comfortable standard of living and enjoy their golden years without the constant worry of making ends meet. The impact on poverty and financial stability beyond the immediate financial relief for recipients, this proposal has the potential to significantly reduce poverty rates among some of the most vulnerable segments of the population. According to recent data, nearly 14% of adults aged 65 and older lived in poverty in 2021, a staggering statistic in a nation as prosperous as the United States. By boosting Social Security payments, the administration aims to lift millions of seniors, individuals with disabilities, and veterans out of poverty, providing them with the resources to afford basic necessities and access essential services without the constant burden of financial hardship. Moreover, the increased financial stability could have far-reaching implications for families and communities. When individuals and households have access to reliable income streams, they are better positioned to contribute to the local economy, support small businesses, and invest in their communities, fostering a ripple effect of economic growth and stability. The debate, affordability and sustainability while the proposed $2,600 monthly increase has garnered widespread support from advocates and recipients alike, it has also sparked intense debates around its affordability and long-term sustainability. Critics argue that such a significant increase in Social Security payouts could place an unsustainable strain on the already strained Social Security system, potentially jeopardizing its future solvency. The Social Security Trust Fund, which is primarily funded through payroll taxes and relies on a delicate balance between contributions and payouts, has long been a subject of concern. With the aging population and a projected depletion of the Trust Fund reserves by 2035 if no changes are made, 
some experts question whether the system can withstand such a substantial increase in payouts without significant reforms or additional funding sources. Proponents of the plan, however, counter that the investment in the financial well-being of Social Security recipients is not only a moral imperative but also an economic necessity. They argue that by lifting millions out of poverty and providing them with increased purchasing power, the resulting economic stimulus could generate additional tax revenue, job creation, and overall economic growth, potentially offsetting some of the costs associated with the increased payouts. Furthermore, advocates point to the long-term societal costs of poverty and financial instability, which often manifest in increased healthcare expenses, housing insecurity, and a strain on social services. By investing in Social Security now, they posit, the nation could potentially save billions in future costs associated with addressing the consequences of poverty and economic hardship. Potential funding sources and reform proposals to address concerns about affordability and sustainability The Biden administration has floated several potential funding sources and reform proposals to accompany the $2,600 monthly increase in Social Security payments. These include payroll tax adjustments. One option under consideration is a gradual increase in the payroll tax rate for both employers and employees, which could help replenish the Social Security Trust Fund and ensure its long-term solvency. This approach, however, has faced criticism from some quarters for potentially burdening businesses and workers with higher tax obligations. Raising or eliminating the taxable earnings cap, currently, Social Security payroll taxes are only levied on the first $147,000 of an individual's annual earnings. By raising or eliminating this cap, the administration aims to capture more revenue from high-income earners, potentially generating additional funds to support the increased payouts. Investment reforms Some experts have proposed allowing a portion of the Social Security Trust Fund to be invested in diversified portfolios, such as stocks and bonds, rather than solely relying on government bonds. This approach, they argue, could potentially yield higher returns and help bolster the fund's reserves over time. Means testing and progressive benefit structures. Another proposal on the table is the introduction of means testing or progressive benefit structures, where higher income retirees receive reduced or capped Social Security payments. This approach aims to target resources more effectively towards those with the greatest financial need while potentially reducing overall program costs. Tax reforms. Proponents have also suggested exploring broader tax reforms, such as implementing a wealth tax or closing loopholes that allow high-income individuals and corporations to minimize their tax burdens. The generated revenue could be earmarked for bolstering the social security system and supporting the proposed payout increases. It's worth noting that each of these proposals has garnered both support and criticism from various stakeholders, with debates around fairness, economic impact, and political feasibility shaping the ongoing discourse. The path forward, a crucial moment for Social Security as the debates surrounding the $2,600 monthly increase in Social Security payments continue to unfold. One thing is clear, the nation stands at a crucial crossroads in determining the future of this vital social safety net. The Biden administration's bold proposal has ignited a long overdue conversation about the adequacy of current benefit levels and the pressing need to address the financial challenges faced by millions of Americans. While the path forward may be paved with complexities and tough choices, the potential impact of this initiative cannot be overstated. For those struggling to make ends meet on meager Social Security payments, the promised $2,600 monthly boost could be a lifeline, offering dignity, financial stability, and a chance to enjoy their later years or navigate periods of disability without the constant specter of poverty looming overhead. As the nation grapples with this historic proposal, it is imperative that policymakers, experts, and the public engage in thoughtful and nuanced discussions, weighing the costs and benefits, exploring viable funding mechanisms, and seeking compromises that prioritize the well-being of the most vulnerable segments of society.